If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links. You guessed it, in the description box below. I'm excited. This is the first real intro that I'm filming where my craft room is done. And oh my goodness, I couldn't be happier with it. Not only is this a craft room, but this is also the room where I will be filming all of my DIYs and all of my intros and outros. So it's like this inclusive area here and I'm not spread out throughout the whole house, which is so stinking exciting to me. It's so nice to be able to set everything up walk out of the room and shut the door and leave it and pick up where I left off whenever I have time. In the past, I always felt like I needed to clean up the mess because I didn't like staring at it. And so now it is just this inclusive room that is set for success and making life easier. And ah, I love it. I am in heaven right now. This is my craft room heaven. And I could not be happier with the way that this turned out. I just love the background. I love my new chair. As you guys can see, I got it. And what chair did I pick? I picked chair number one. I did. I absolutely loved the size of it. I loved that if Kayla and Allie or Jeff and Allie were here in the room with me, there would be room enough for both of them to sit on this chair. I didn't want to go with a love seat because I felt like it was going to be too big. And so one of these giant size chairs was perfect. It's comfortable and it's leaving me enough room to set up my craft table so I can still DIY. I did get the chair without the ottoman because the ottoman was just going to take up too much room, but I am so happy with the way this chair looks up against the wall here. It was perfect. I didn't want to go with something that was too dark and it was going to get lost in the wall. And so I wanted it to be on the lighter side. I wanted it to accent the wall. And I think that it does just that. I can't wait to show you this craft room. This craft room has turned out amazing and I am so excited with it. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing. Let's get to it and let me show you all the different parts of this room. And this is where I will be creating for you all from here on out. I'm so excited. Let's go take a look. For those of you who are new to my channel, I will do a quick recap of what this room looked like before. This was Allie's nursery, then it kind of turned into her big girl room. And um, then when Ray got COVID, it turned into Ray's isolation and quarantine room because it was on the other side of the house. And so this was the room before we painted it, right before Ray moved into it. And this was the room after Ray moved into it, but then he had moved his furniture out of it because he had bought a house, but he wasn't yet living in the house. So we had the air mattress here and this was right after Christmas. So you can see that all my Christmas decor came down and Ray was sleeping on this air mattress, which was hilarious, but he was comfortable. And uh, Jeff had bought me a storage shed to put all of my holiday decor in. And so as I was in the process of organizing that, I just left my Christmas stuff in here, a TV on the box for Ray. His desk was still up, but oh my word, it became a catch-all for everything. Let's get to what the room looks like now. Here we are, welcome to my craft room. I couldn't be more happy with the outcome of this. It's honestly exceeded my expectations of what I thought it was going to be. And this is such an awesome place to create and do my work. Alrighty, so 
I will just kind of walk through where I got everything so you all know and um, just kind of show you a little bit of how I organize my space in this room. My barn, my rules, I got this at Michael's. I will do absolutely nothing today. Yeah, that never happens, but I really liked it. I got that at Michael's as well. These lanterns, I've got a couple of them. I got these at Walmart. They were $9.98 around Christmas time in the garden section. I've had these for a while. I got them, I wanna say like three or four Christmases ago. My dried flowers are from Hobby Lobby. My owl is from Michael's around Thanksgiving time and I have two of those. And I just kind of did the top shelf there matching. And this shelf is just one of those uh, white shelves that you can get at Lowe's. I wanted a TV in here, but I didn't want to put it on the wall. And this table I had in my living room before. This was in the central living area of the house. And so I didn't want to buy anything new. And so I just bought this shelf. I want to say this is a seven foot shelf and I put it across the two so I could put my TV up there. And I strategically just hid the wires behind this shelf here. Um, this tin, I guess, cubby or whatnot. This is a storage uh, container that I got at Hobby Lobby. And this is what I will be keeping fan mail and my mail in. I really like using these shoe boxes that you can get from Michaels. Usually you can get them for $2. And again, this is all the stuff that I use daily. Baker's twine, I've got some cute notepads from Dollar Tree. I've got tons of twine here. Um, I've got my Simply Earth essential oils, some fondant there, my tools. This clock is the Pioneer Woman clock that I just recently got. And I love diffusers. And so this is a diffuser that I just got at Michael's for $9.99. And this truck, you wanna see what I put in there? I store all my glasses in there. How cute is that? For the bed of the truck, I put all my glasses in there so I know where they're at all the time because typically my glasses are everywhere in this house. These canisters were canisters that I previously had in my kitchen for my flour, coffee, and sugar, but I liked them so much I thought I could utilize them in here. This adorable pig with wings is from Big Lots. How cute is that? And of course, I have to have a wax warmer in here, and it is the black truck that I found at Walmart around Christmas time. And yes, my recipe holder, but this really is my DIY instruction holder that I reference when I'm doing DIYs. On this side, again, I've got more of the boxes with burlap, glue, uh, my wood beads, rhinestones. I've got some paper crafting embellishments there, and I have got those uh, Dollar Tree wood words, those laser cut words there. And so, yeah, this was the table that was out before that I used to film in front of. And so I brought it in here. Um, Allie does her homework in here a lot of times when I'm working. But for my Cricut mats, I hung up a hook here by command. And that's where I hang some, and I'll repeat, some of my mats, not all of them. Let's see, I love these boxes from Michaels because they're really good for storage, stuff like my camera batteries and whatnot. And so those are real cute up there. I've got the 12 by 12 uh, scrapbooking bins here that fit perfectly in these shelves. And these shelves are from Michaels. And so, um, when I did the shelves, I kind of altered them and like skipped a shelf here to make a bigger hole so I could put stuff like this in it. And so I actually have an empty one, that's good, huh? On this side, I've got my paint brushes in one and I use those plastic containers from Walmart. 
to separate them by large, medium, small, and then over here, and it carries quite a bit of brushes. And then I've got uh, paper crafting here. I've got tape in this one. I've got wood burning stuff in this one. This is just a dry erase board that I got from Walmart. I believe it was $10. So yeah, this is work area one, and I love this. Previously, this desk had uh, four of these shelves that it was resting on, and I put two of them in the closet, and so you'll see those when I show you my closet here in a minute. But yeah, this is a good work area. And I will tell you, this tabletop I got off of Amazon, um, I want to say I paid probably 40 bucks for it. And so um, if you just look up craft tabletop, you'll find them and I had it shipped to me for free. I also have this stand here that I got from Michaels as well and it did have wheels on it, but I kept the wheels off because I needed it to fit under my desk and with the wheels on it didn't fit. And so this is always super handy when I'm DIYing to put all my paints and everything that I'm using on that day when I batch film. And it goes right next to my table and my camera so I can keep my work area that I'm filming in neat. Slides right under there. It fits perfectly out of the way and it matches and it just makes filming and DIYing a lot easier. So I don't have to keep taking things out and putting them away. If I'm done for the day, it all goes neatly in this and I can keep it out until I'm done DIYing and then I put everything away and it just works really great. And yeah, those are like restaurant paper towels because I think those work the best for DIYing. They're super inexpensive and that roll lasts forever. And can I tell you, at the beginning of COVID when I couldn't get paper towels, I went to Smart and Final and those were the only paper towels that they had and it came in a box of eight. And so I bought them because we didn't have any paper towels. And so, yeah, now I use them for crafting. On this wall here, I've got my cute red truck that I had to have that I found at Hobby Lobby. And my Easter tier tray stays in here. This table I got off of Wayfair along with the chair. And I've got some cute little farm animals stacked. I've got a milk jug with flowers, and I've got my DIY block perpetual calendar there. And then here is the chair that I chose, and it's full. Now this came with an ottoman, or you had the option, I guess, of buying it with an ottoman. I didn't want the ottoman. It was gonna take up too much room in here. And so yes, this is what you see in the background of my videos, right here. And when I turn, this here is the area that I set up a table, a collapsible table, and that is where I film and do my DIYs for you. Let me show you. And I guess you can say this here is a behind the scenes look of what you don't see of how I film. I found this collapsible table at Walmart for $20 and I love it because it's just that. It's collapsible, it folds in half, it's easy to store and it doesn't take up a bunch of room. I did decide to put my play button up. I got this about three years ago for reaching 100,000 subscribers. And since I had a craft room, I vowed that I wasn't gonna put it up until I had a craft room. Now that I have one, it's up. Success is more attitude than it is aptitude. That is for sure. And above the closet here, I've got these tin mirrors, which you look at how adorable those are. I got these from Walmart for, I wanna say 9.98 a piece. I picked up five of these, two went to Ray's house for his bathroom, and three of them right up here. And then I just recently put this up using Dollar Tree's vinyl, a place for everything and everything in its place. Ah! And let's take a 
take a look inside the closet. So the stuff that I'm using in this closet to organize my stuff is the same stuff that was out in the living area with my craft table. And so I've got my drawers here that are a lot of drawers. And in these, I really just kind of store scissors in one. I've got tools in another. I've got glue in one, all my different glues. Um, then you go on to stamps and I've got two drawers of stamps and my ink. I've got another drawer of stamps and a huge bottle of wood glue from Lowe's. The only drawer it fit in. I've got my pens that are in my storage container, the retractable container from the Dollar Tree. More pens. And what I love about these is I can very easily pull them out and these are all my nice Sharpies. And these are all the older Sharpies. And these are all my flare felt tip pens. So it's really cool that you don't have to dig for them. I love those and they fit perfectly in there. And then down here, I've just got more stuff like cutting mats. I'm gonna be making a clock here pretty soon. So I've got that stuff my staple gun that I love. And so yeah, that really is just the way I organize it. And then, so all of this stuff is stuff that I'm utilizing that I've already had because I did this because I wanted to keep the cost down. Now, I had this in Allie's closet that was filled with her toys and so I've got some of my extra fabric in there and then just some DIYs that are already done and I'm storing them in there for safekeeping. And then I've got um, my shelves here, and I know it looks a mess, but it really isn't. It's just, I wanted all this stuff to fit in there, and I use that scoring board a lot, so it's on top, but these were what was previously under my desk out in the living room. I had four of them under my table, and so here in the room, I decided to put two of them in the closet, and these are really great for using um, these, bins that you can get from Michaels and so yeah so I try to label them I'm in the midst of labeling them these are all my paper crafts that I haven't uploaded yet so that'll be fun sneak peek of that and so the other uh, shelving unit from Michaels is here and this one has more of my wood like popsicle sticks and dowels and whatnot and so I just use all of that to store my stuff on top I decided I didn't want to throw away my shoe boxes from Michaels that were on my craft table before and so I just decided to put them there and utilize them for now because all of these cool bins that you see are bins that I got from the Dollar Tree and I love the gray set and so with this this is some of my fabric and Cricut DIYs I've got just some storage containers in there and they, these work really great just for storing whatever. I've got Allie's sewing machine and all her stuff that uh, she needs for that in there. So if I'm in here sewing, she can pull out her sewing machine and do it too. These were more drawers that Allie had toys in and so I decided to use them. She's got a couple of drawers that are hers for her DIY stuff. So when I'm in here, she can just pull it out. But for the most part, it's like my vinyl there and um, more fabric and a lot of this is like the fabric and thread from the Dollar Tree and so it's not super neat. I'm not worried because I'm gonna dig through it anyway. Going to the top you can see those bins there and again these are all the gray Dollar Tree bins. I need a few more they ran out. Uh, these used to be on my table as well. I wanted to get a couple more of these bins to replace these but Again, Dollar Tree is out, so those will have to do for now. On the top of these shelves, I used more of those gray bins from the Dollar Tree and went all the way across. So I have got mass storage in here, and I'm gonna tell you now, there's only one, which is this one up here, that is filled, the rest are empty. And so, yeah, I'm not planning on filling up anytime soon, but when you come down, um, I've got a couple of these bins here from the Dollar Tree again that have my wood plaques. I've got um, a DIY that I'm starting there that's kind of big, but it's taken me a bit to get into it. So I'm just leaving it there until I can really get to it. 
and I store all of my film stuff here. My tripods can go here, which is a perfect spot. So that's another aspect of this that a lot of you don't see is I have the filming aspect and all the equipment that comes with that. And so I can store some of my lights in here, more camera in there. But when we open this, so here up here, I, I wanna get four more of those bins and those I've got, I think on the top one, I've got the Mod Podge and then I've got the three empty, but I've still got room for four more. And so I'd like to put four more of those just to have them for whatever I need storage for, you know? And yeah, so then when you come, this was a shelf that was in Ray's room. And so again, I just, you know, does it all match? No, but it's getting the job done. It's doing what I needed to do. And really what's happening in this closet is fine with me because I like how organized it is. And so this is a table that I use for crafting. But again, I used these baskets from the Dollar Tree, which are deep and awesome. And so I've got clay in there and my iron that kind of has no rhyme or reason. But um, I've got my drill in one and the rest are pretty much empty. I think I have paper crafting in this one. I've got some filming stuff in that one. And then on the bottom, bottom shelf is my Simply Earth Essential Oils. And so, you know, it fit, what is that? Nine baskets on this shelf plus what's on top. So that's just even more storage. And so I'm so far pretty happy with the way my closet has turned out. And it's just gonna be a work in progress. When I see more of the bins, I'll get them and make it a bit nicer. I might even add like a shelf right here just to add maybe some of my paints and that way I have another shelf to add paints to right along there. I think that that would be a cool little feature to add since I have all that extra space above everything is to add another shelf. This is an update insert. A couple days after filming this, Jeff actually helped me install a shelf in the closet there utilizing that empty wall space, allowing me to put more of these baskets from the Dollar Tree in. And I use these to actually put each of my upcoming DIYs that I'll be making in them. So that way when I'm filming, I can just grab a basket and DIY away. This area here is two desks that I picked up from Walmart. They were $49 a piece. I wanted a corner desk, but the corner desks that I was looking at just weren't going to fit. And although this cuts into the closet area, it's fine. Um, my son gave me his computer screen. And so I was excited to have that because I have a laptop here. And so it makes it a bit nicer to attach the screen to my laptop and have a bigger screen to work on. And so yeah, these desks are two of them for $49 each paying $100 for a desk. And this is the same set of desks that Allie has in her room as well. And this is a $49 student chair from Walmart, but it's a nicer one. And it's a bit more comfortable than the regular ones that you see, like this one over here. And if I'm being honest, Allie took my other chair like this because it's so comfortable because she used to have that one. And so that's okay, I don't mind. Uh, my favorite candies. I kind of have a bucket of candy and sugar to keep me going. I got these tins at Michael's as well. And of course we have to be organized. And so I've got my planner here. Yes, this is just with some of my colored pencils, crayons, notes, notepads, uh, you know, these cute little things that you can get at Michael's that have just about everything in them. And of course, you gotta have your eyeglass cleaner on hand. And they have these cute little soup cans at Michael's as well. And I know I could have used a regular one, but they all matched and it was only $4.99. So I didn't mind paying for it because it all matched. So I picked up two of those. And on the desktop here, I will show you that by duck in the, I wanna say the, oh my goodness, my mind just went blank. The shelf liner area of Walmart 
They have this rubbery shelf liner by Duct that is very smooth. And um, I really liked this. And so instead of putting plexiglass on top, because Allie and I kept cutting ourselves on it because it moved too much. Even when we used like the glue dots to keep it down, we would end up cutting ourselves or poking ourselves on it. And so I bought one roll of this and it fit perfectly for the two desks to protect the surface of the desks. When I saw this at Hobby Lobby, they had their 50% off wall decor sale. I just thought this was amazing, not only because it went with all of the tin and the metal that I'm using in here and that it has that oil rubbed bronze rusted look to it, but I just loved this for storage. I thought that this was an amazing storage area. And so because I liked it so much, I ended up going back and getting a second one to put on this side. And this is where I put all of my Cricut pens and whatnot, the tools. And so when you look at it from afar, I've got one on that side and one on that side. And then I bought another sign like that other one, Home, a story of who we are, a collection of things we love. I love that. And that is from Michael's as well. These blackout curtains are from Walmart, and I believe I have six of them up there to get the fullness that I was happy with. And I gotta show you. I do have a mini fridge in here that carries my water and apple juices and my coffees. How cute is that? And then to hide the wires, I'm using these wood crates just to kind of keep them neat so I don't roll over the wires with my chair. Now this work area here, because I need a computer for printing and my Cricut, I figured that this was better suited for that than just having this area here and having it cluttered. And so um, when I'm planning and stuff, I like to be over here and Allie likes to do homework over here anyway. And so there was a definite benefit to having this in here. But yeah, so I've got my printer and can I just tell you this Epson printer is amazing. This is the one by Shaquille O'Neal. This is not a sponsored video, but this printer is amazing. You can print 7,500 color sheets with one set of ink. And what I love about this, I have to show you, is that the ink is the ink that you fill up by bottles. But when you get the ink on Amazon, it's only $14 for all four colors. And one bottle fills these up and you get 7,500 pages printed. That is amazing. I was kind of bummed when Costco shut down their photo department and I couldn't get my cartridges refilled anymore. And so I decided to go this route and I couldn't be happier with this printer. It is probably hands down the best printer I've ever owned. And they have several different um, styles of this printer. And I will tell you that this one is the lowest one. It's like the 2750 and um, it was well worth the 299 that I paid for it. I want to say, yeah, it was, no, it was 229 And so it was worth it, in my opinion, with the amount of printing I do. And I've got these two stands here that I keep my Cricut stuff and my printer on. These are stands that you can get at Michael's. I want to say that these are $69 a piece. And they've got this flap here on it that actually raises up, but I don't need it. And so on this one, I have my Cricut Explorer Air 2. And on this one, I have my Cricut Maker that the kids got me for Christmas, uh, two Christmases ago. My Easy Press. I love my Cricut Joy. This is such a handy little cutter and a cuddle bug that a subscriber sent to me. I love that. And it's got plenty of drawers for storage and whatnot. And that's why this was perfect here because then when I come over here, if I need a pen, I can just take this off and I can pick whatever pen it is that I need. And so I think these are the Cricut pens. And then these are the DIY pens, the cheaper brand name off of Amazon. 
and then I've got my tools and whatnot here, my blades, and then these are infusible markers and my, yeah. And so that is my Cricut Designing Space Work Area. And then I will tell you that Jeff surprised me. I had a white fan in here because it was Allie's nursery. And he surprised me and switched out my fan to a rustic farmhouse fan that would match my wall. And Allie's light was very dim and not very bright anyway. And so this worked out perfect because it has three light bulbs and now it is so much brighter in here which makes it great for filming. And I do have a dream catcher. That dream catcher is one my mom gave me. She gave all the kids one and myself one. And so I just keep it in here with me just because it's a piece of mom in here with me. Oh, and this here, I guess I should tell you, was also another piece from Hobby Lobby that I got at 50% off. And would you look at that? That corrugated tin or metal could not go any better with these and with these flowers. And they were bought at different places, so it was meant to be. And so this is my craft room, my space for creating, for inspiration, filming, DIYing, and I couldn't be happier with the outcome. I honestly couldn't be happier with the outcome of this room. I am so happy with it. I, I think I've probably said that so many times. Everything that I need is here in this room. It is accessible and it is just fit and ready for me to work and that just makes me happy. It's gonna make work a lot easier. It's gonna save me a lot of time from constantly setting up and putting things down, constantly cleaning up. I have an area to craft. I have an area to work on my computer if I want with the Cricut and printing and I have an area to film and then I've got the central area here in the middle to DIY and film which is perfect. I do however still edit in my office which is in the central living area of our house which is right by the front door because one, the computer is better. Ray built me that computer and it was designed for editing and producing and rendering videos and so it is just a really great fast computer and I've got two big screens that I can work on. And secondly, I do it in there because when I edit a video, it can take me anywhere from four to 10 hours to edit. And I don't want to be separated in a room by myself. I'd rather be in the central living area of the house where I can be part of everything going on. And so for that reason, I do have two work areas when it comes to my work here on YouTube here in this house, but I couldn't be happier with the outcome of this room. I hope you all enjoyed the tour and yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Maybe I gave you some ideas on things that you can do to your craft room. It's not perfect, it's gonna be a work in progress, but you know what, for now I am happy with it and I will change things as I go when I see if they work or they don't work and what I need and what I don't need. Anyhow, I hope you all enjoyed today's tour of my craft room. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to, you guessed it, 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget, happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive. You can.